Magic number for the Guardians to clinch the Central Division title is three. That's a combination of wins by Cleveland and or losses by Kansas City. Kyle Gibson, he's been around a long time. He's 36 years old, and in his career, you can see 5-10 and 10 in 22 games started. He won two games against them last year when we, he was with uh, Baltimore. He was 2-0, and oh, but uh, they know him well, and so does Jose Ramirez. He's yeah. got more hits off him than anybody. So Angel Martinez will get things going for the Guardians. And the first pitch hit a mile high out towards second. That should be a can of corn. And Donovan is there. Walker was closing quickly, but Brendan calls him off. Here's Kyle Manzardo. Manzardo, four homers and 14 knocked in. There you go. Patience. That's a good take. You, you take your walk and move it along because this guy here has more hits off uh, Gibson than any pitcher. Pops him up. Donovan in shallow right trickles toward foul ground two pop outs Ramirez is disposed of two away and Josh Naylor is next here's the 1 0 and there's a ground ball left side of the infield played by Wynn. his strong throw to first takes care of Josh Naylor a walk and a man left and the Cardinals are coming to bat against the Guardians in the bottom of the first in St. Louis for Ben Lively he's over 150 innings this year combined between here and Columbus. That is the most he's thrown through since 2016. Also leads the team in wins by the starting pitchers. Mason Wynn is ready to go here in our opening inning. Well, he expanded his strike zone with that one. And Wynn strikes out to start the game for the Cardinals. Burleson, the left-handed batter. Hit hard to right field. Back goes Will Brennan. Makes the catch onto the warning track. Round number two. Well, dropped the head on that one. Here's Paul Goldschmidt. He's had a great month of September. He taps one back to the mound. Jumping up lively gloves kind of back pedals flips in the same motion to first and that is a one two three quick first inning. Bo Naylor leads off the third. No scores right hander Kyle Gibson. It's hit hard but right to the second baseman Donovan who gets it on the backhand. So smooth and he throws out Naylor. And there's one out for Daniel Schneeman. Just down low with it. Second walk issued by Gibson. Angel Martinez will bat for the second time. He popped up his first time. Brown ball up the middle. That will get through, and Shaman will go to third. That's another thing about the spacious outfield. You get one through the infield, you can almost guarantee it's going to be an extra base for the runner. Kyle Manzardo will be the batter. And a liner caught at second by Donovan. Another missile hit to second. Check the webbing, Brendan. That was a bolt. You better have a, a good first step. I think it was still on the rise and was going past Brendan Donovan. What a play by him. And now Ramirez is up. He popped out. Drives it into right go. center field for a base hit. That'll get a run home. Steven scores. Guardians take the lead. Throw to third. Not in time. But did he come off the base? He did. But the ball rolled free. And down to second on the play at third goes Jose Ramirez. One nothing Cleveland. And Jose Ramirez with RBI number 108. One nothing Cleveland as we reach the fourth inning here in St. Louis. Two down for Bo Naylor. He grounded out. A little squibber. Oh, that's going to work. So Jay Z, he flips it, but it's high and wide, and Bo will keep running. He'll go down to second base, so he's in scoring position with two down on the hit and an error. Yeah, that's exactly what it has to be. That wasn't a wise decision on that throw. You know, trying to make a great play, but overthrows him. You give him the extra base. Try to throw, but it was nowhere in sight. Bo will be at second base. Daniel Schneeman walked in, scored the only run of this game in the last inning. Line drive, base hit, right field. Schneeman delivers. Bo Naylor will score. It's 2 nothing Cleveland. And that's why you don't make that throw right there. The next, very next pitch comes a base hit, and they take advantage of it. And the Guardians enjoy a 2-0 lead as the Redbirds come up for their fourth inning look at Ben Lively. Lively's allowed just one hit. Facing Alex Burleson. There's a bullet hit toward left center field. Leaping try. Martinez can't come up with it. And Burleson on his way to second. So second time through a bullet the other way and the Cardinals have their first leadoff man aboard. Yep. He got turned around. He didn't get back far enough and it went off the uh, end of his glove. The guards can back up with two way and a runner still at third. Brendan Donovan grounded out his only time up. Had a good appearance for Donovan. He takes a ball in the dirt. First and third with two man out. In Newt Bar on his bobblehead day has a chance to do some damage here. 
He's popped up. Long run Ramirez. Martinez coming on. That ball might drop. There it does. One run is in. Donovan to third. Newt Bar stands at second. A blue pit makes it two to one. Doesn't matter how it lands. It just needs to find some green grass, and that's exactly what happened. Cardinals are down a run. Kyle Gibson has worked his way through four innings. Single run allowed in the third, single run in the fourth. Jose Ramirez knocked in the first run of the game in the third inning. That's driven to deep right field, down the line, headed to the corner, and gone a home run. Jose Ramirez kept it fair right down the chalk. And the Guardians are a three to one leader now here in the fifth inning. That's home run. Number 36. Well, you keep Ramirez. messing around the inside part of the plate with Jose. Hit it right down the line, got out in a hurry. Well, it is still Cleveland on top of the Cardinals. Three to one ball game. The right hander, Kyle Gibson, to Andre Jimenez. Oh. Jimenez hammers one at deep right field. Get out of here. It's gone a home run. Him, he's ninth home run of the year. His fourth home run in his last 22 games. And Captain Clutch. Has made it a four to one Cleveland lead here in the sixth inning. That's the fourth straight inning they've been able to put one on the board. Good inning of relief for Steven Matz tonight. He'll start with Lane Thomas. He's got a new battery mate. That is Yvonne Herrera behind the dish. In the uh -oh. eighth inning, and Lane Thomas juices one deep left field. Gone. That's staying fair. That hit off the level of the Big Mac land. Wow, the third solo home run tonight. That was a pretty good bolt. And he picked up about a seven iron and just teed it up and it, it left. Eric Sabrowski, even though he's working with a four run lead, this is a same situation because when Sabrowski came into the game, it was a three run lead and the tying run was on deck. That one on the ground. Naylor, nice play at the line. Lobs to the pitcher, covering it. In time. I think he might have got that foot down. They're going to challenge him. Yeah, I think he might have had that foot down on the back before he got there. I mean, that's bang bang over there. Might as well take a chance here. After review, the call in the field stands. Runners safe. Cleveland will lose the challenge. Let's see if the Cardinals can make something happen with that. Runner at first, nobody out. Jordan Walker. Oh, there you go. What Is this nice two? Play. There's one on the first. They turn it. Nicely done by Schneeman. And Jimenez, Thomas to Jay-Z, two for three tonight. Ring him up, book it. The Guardians reduce their magic number down to two, and within moments it could be down to one. They come to St. Louis and dominate the Redbirds by a final score of five to one.